Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of New E-Juice. This is Mark, and today I have the new color scheme, Vamo V5. It just showed up in the mail. We're going to pop her open here and see what it looks like. I am excited. I've been waiting for this for a couple of days now. So inside the box we have a certificate of authenticity, the Vamo V5 instruction manual, and the Vamo. Now I've never used a Vamo before, but I'll tell you right now, looking at it, I am fairly impressed. Got a little bit of weight to it right out of the package. Looks like the uh, color scheme is a little bit different than what I was expecting. Um, actually, this almost looks like a woman's mod. It says, love, spring, love, spring, love, spring, love, and I think there's friendship on here somewhere too, but you know what? I think it's kind of cool looking, so I'm going to keep it, and there was a limited amount of these available, so I got the last one of this color scheme. There were a few other color schemes as well that I had wanted, but they were sold out. So I've got my 18650 battery in here. Let's see if we can't get the camera to focus. Five times to power on. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Looks like we're reading 3.3, 3.4. I've never used a variable voltage mod before, so we're going to experiment a little bit. Wow, this goes all the way from 3 volts up to 6 volts in 0.1 volt increments. So the first thing I'm going to do is try my mini pro tank on here. It's got ego threads right down the middle, and if I'm not mistaken, this beauty ring here does come off so if you have something that's ego threaded but it's a little bit larger you can also put a larger tank on there with ego threads or 510 threads all right I gotta figure out how to go into there we go reading 1.5 ohms on my coil figure out how I can change the wattage here I'll have to take a look at the instructions sometime later. Just turn it off and turn it back on. Interested to see how this hits. System on. This thing is massive too. It's, it's very tall, especially with that mini pro tank on there. Just for comparison, here's the Chai Yu mod that I've been using in my other videos. The Chai Yu mod from top to bottom is about as tall as just the Vamo before you put the cartridge on there, or the cartomizer, clearomizer, whatever you happen to be using. There we go. Now I'm in the wattage screen. I don't know how I got there, but that's what I wanted before. flavor is pretty good. It's about comparable to, well, I don't want to say it's comparable to, but similar to what I had on my Ego Twist battery. Vapor production is not great, but I've also got a custom coil inside of this Pro Tank. Let's try turning up the watts a little bit. Let's go to 6 watts and see what happens. There we go. A little bit better vapor. wonder how high this thing can go. 10 watts. Let's try 10 watts. Oh, that's much better. And that's off of just a, a mini pro tank and 
I believe in here I've got Mount Baker Vapors Thug Juice, uh, 12 milligram strength, 50-50, I want to say. Uh, yep, 50-50 mix of PG and VG. Decent vapor production. Let's turn up the watts a little bit more. We'll see how high this thing can go. Now we're at 14 watts. Vapor is getting a little warm, but I'm also getting a lot more flavor out of it now. Uh, vapor production looks to be about the same. I'm afraid I might have been sitting out of the camera view this whole video. I apologize if I was. I'll take a look at it afterwards here. Getting some decent vapor off of there. Now this I've actually been curious about. I'm going to try this here. We're going to see what kind of difference a different drip tip will make on this Pro Tank. One that's a little bit more wide open. I'm now using the Stingray drip tip. Not sure if it's going to make a huge difference or not, but it's a, a little bit less restrictive than the stock Kanger drip tip. Not a whole lot of difference on the airflow. All right, so it looks like the adjustment on here, we can go from three watts all the way up to 15 watts in half watt increments, which is nice. Let's try it 15 watts, max wattage. might be a little bit high. I started getting a little bit of a burning taste in there. I think about 12 watts is what I would recommend for a uh, mini pro tank. Definitely going to have to read over the instruction manual and figure out how to use this thing, see what I can do for all the settings. Turn it back on here and... So my battery died on the camera I had to cut the video short there I watched what I recorded though and I realized I wasn't giving you guys a very good view of anything below my chest level so I turned the, cor the camera down a little bit and we're gonna give you a better look at this um, I don't know if you guys can see that the picture online when I bought it looked a little bit different than what I was expecting I was kind of hoping for like a, a flame some kind of a fiery design not this but all in all I'm happy with it I mean the color scheme doesn't affect the functionality of it and as far as variable voltage and variable wattage I gotta say I like it um, this is the first variable voltage variable wattage mod that I've owned I've used my buddy's EVIC a couple of times, and it's nice to be able to change the settings um, versus something like this little Ego Twist. This one obviously is well used. The paint is all gone and you know, irrelevant. Um, this one, something like this that you get with the starter kits, the only adjustment that you have is on the bottom. You can go from 3.3 .3 to 4.8 volts and anywhere in between but you don't have control of the wattage or the amperage going to the coil you can only change the volts so this is definitely an upgrade and for what I paid for this I believe it was thirty five dollars shipped to my door this is a fantastic starting variable wattage mod um, to the best of my knowledge, there's not a whole lot of variable wattage mods that have this level of quality for the price. So I would highly recommend this to anybody starting out and getting into the variable voltage, variable wattage. Uh, one of these days I'm planning on buying a box mod like an iTaste MVP or something similar to that. Uh, it's going to be a couple of weeks down the road. but. As far as the overall quality of this one, I'm pretty impressed. The threads are smooth. 
Um, this color scheme, there's a few things that I would have done differently. I don't like the chrome at the gaps for the extender ring for the uh, 650 batteries, but it is what it is. The other thing is this design almost looks like it's just a, a laminated plastic or something. At the seam, I don't know if you can see this that close, but there's a seam where they wrapped the, the plastic around it. And if you look at it at an angle, hopefully the camera will get this. Um, there's a bit of almost like an overlap. There's a ledge right here. It feels like I could stick my fingernail underneath and peel this all off. So the overall quality, I guess you get what you pay for. The looks don't affect the functionality of it. So for $35 to have variable voltage, variable wattage on an 18650 battery that should ideally last me all day, if not maybe two days of vaping, I would say is definitely worth the money. Plus it's got the Ego and the 510 thread so you can use your clear misers, your cartomizers, you can use an iClear, you can use um, if you have a well-built coil, this one, I was reading over the instructions and it said that anything under 1.2 ohms, it will not fire. But if you have a rebuildable atomizer like this and you build the coil to over 1.2 ohms, you can use this on the VAMO. Um, so just to wrap it up, would I recommend this to a friend? Yes. Um, just because of the functions and the, the price, I guess, is the big thing. Uh, $35 with free shipping, brand new. You can't go wrong with that. Most starter kits are going to run you anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks, Maybe a little bit more, depending on what you get. My Ego Twist battery with... A cartomizer, a charger, and fluid to get all set up and going cost me about 50 bucks right off the bat. So I could have bought this, bought a bottle of fluid, bought an 18650 charger, bought the battery, and only spent about 15 more dollars than what I would have spent initially. And I think I would have been much happier with this. So I would recommend this definitely to anybody. Plus, the new color scheme is just kind of cool looking. They had some other colors that I was looking forward to trying out, but unfortunately they were sold out online. Uh, one of them was a like a green, almost matrix-looking uh, electronic. Another one was like black with blue smoke going all across it. Those would have been my number one choices, but I ended up with this because they were sold out of the other colors. So... New color, 2014 Vamo V5, um, should be hopefully becoming available sometime in the next couple of weeks. And rate, comment, subscribe below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.